Hi, I'm Norm Stockton. Welcome to my home studio here in Southern California. I am here today with the Galleon Cougar MB150S Mark III from GK's legendary Microbase series. This is a great sounding and very compact 112 that puts 150 watts into a 4 ohm load. Uh, because of the size and weight, this is a very popular unit with upright players, but it's also been used on countless iconic recordings in the studio with electric players. So it's a very versatile unit um, designed and built in the USA. Uh, in the normal manner, what I'd like to do is do a quick overview of the front and rear panels, and then we'll go control by control and really hear what this thing sounds like. And at this point, I always want to encourage people to please plug in some headphones or a speaker so that you can really hear what's happening, especially with the low end, because speakers um, in phones and computers generally don't do a really good job with that. All right, so here we go. So starting on the left side of the front panel, you've got your DI with a ground lift, an input jack with an input attenuator, volume knob, You've got your voicing filters, and those include a low cut, a contour, and a high boost. Then you have a four band active EQ, an output level, a limiter on off, as well as a limiter knob. And we'll talk about that in a moment. It's a pretty cool feature. You have an effects send and return and a headphone jack. Then on the rear panel, you've got a power button, quarter inch speaker outputs with an off and on switch that allows you to defeat the internal speaker, and then a quarter inch line out as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and go control by control. So you can see that I'm using the DI for this recording. I'm also miking it because I really wanted you to hear what the speaker sounds like in this unit as well. And then you have a ground lift as well, which is a very useful feature when you're uh, playing in different venues. Then you have your input jack and your input attenuator. It's a 14 dB pad. So you know this is basically just to ensure that you're not clipping at the input stages. So if you're playing a really hot bass, you know this bass has got some decent output, so I've got that engaged, but uh, if you're playing finger style on a bass with passive electronics, then you probably would never need to engage that, but it's there just in case. All right, then you have your volume, which is a preamp gain. Then you've got your voicing filters, and it's really cool to have this sort of tonal control in such a small package. Uh, this goes above and beyond even what the four band Active EQ is going to do. Starting here, you've got your low cut, and again, if you don't have your uh, headphones in, you may have trouble hearing this, but uh, it cuts down around 40 hertz, so it's definitely dealing with the subs. Check it out. Uh, it's off right now. Definitely gets rid of some of that sub stuff, right? So it's off right now. In other words, all of the subs can come through. All right, I'm gonna leave it off right now just so you can hear this thing flat. Then you have your contour, and this introduces a bit of a smiley face EQ. So it cuts in the mids with a corresponding bump in the lows and the highs. It's off right now, so it's flat. So let me go ahead and play a little bit. A little flatter, right? Gives a little bit of a scoop. I'm going to leave it off right now just so you can uh, hear the thing flat again. And then you've got your high boost. And this is kind of more of a presence. It deals right around 2K. But here we go. It's off right now. All the way up. Right? Definitely gives it some bark. I'll have it down for now just so you can hear this thing unaffected. So then you've got your highs. So you can definitely get up there and get some crispy stuff on top. I'll leave it flat for right now. Then you have your high mids. Scoops it out some, right? Low mids.
All right, then you have your lows. Send it out. Very musical EQ. So I'll go ahead and leave it flat right now. Then you've got your output level. Again, it's master volume. I've got that down quite a bit so that I'm not blowing out my uh, open mics in the room. Then you have your limiter on off and your limiter knob. The limiter function on most of GK's other stuff is designed to be very discreet and sort of in the background and not heard very much. On this unit, it's actually designed to be used more like sort of a compression type of an effect. It's supposed to be kind of overt. So check this out, okay? We'll engage the uh, limiter. So I'll turn it down right now and do. So it kind of gives it a little bit of tude, right? So I'll go ahead and leave that off right now. But um, again, another very cool feature that you can use to sculpt the tone to your preferences, especially in a studio environment where, you know, the subtleties really matter. Okay. And then you have your effects send and return. So you can run external effects through uh, an effects loop. And then you have your headphone jack. Then moving on to the rear panel, you've got your power button, and then you have those quarter inch speaker outputs. So you can plug in either two eight ohm cabinets, or you can plug in one four ohm cabinet. And that speaker defeat, uh, the on off, allows you to disconnect the internal 112 if you wanna run two external speakers. So uh, again, it gives you all sorts of options. Then you have your quarter inch line out, and you'd use that to plug into an outboard power amp or an external DI. But just 26 pounds, super compact, legendary GK tone, features, value, reliability. I'm always encouraging people not to just take my word for it, though. Go to a GK dealer and check it out for yourself. I'm sure you'll agree. But otherwise, you can also get more information if you go to Galleon.com. But this is the Galleon Cougar MB150S Mark III. Go check it out. God bless you. I'm Norm Stockton. I hope to see you on the road.